Let's take a look, quick look at a contrast between how auto numbering is handled in Microsoft Word versus FrameMaker. Here I've selected two items in a bulleted list. If I wish, a simple click will change it over to numbers. Now if I want to change the number styles, I have a few prepackaged choices and with great effort it is possible to actually come up with a custom style. Um, it's also possible to actually make some errors. For example, if I think this looks really nice, all of these uh, uh, limit of nine numbers with um, uh, Arabic's following, if I click on this, I've made a mistake in that I've actually also applied a heading style that I don't want. So the way I would need to do this is to actually go ahead and select something some more simple, kind of a simple outline, and this would allow me to make new items. This is two item, and if I were to indent this over, I will start to get um, A, B, C, etc. And let's go ahead and move this over and make this the third item. So this is going into kind of a classic, um, almost a Harvard outline indent. Part of, the, part of the limitation is I'm limited to nine levels, and also what if I wanted to actually repeat the previous numbers? As you'll see, this is much easier to do in FrameMaker. First of all, um, the FrameMaker example we're looking at here, although it's not the prettiest document on earth, we actually have defined numbered levels that go to 11 levels, and that's not the limit. It's really just limited to the width of your paper. So to illustrate this, I'm going to go ahead and select the last item, and I'm going to change this back to a first level a second level, a third level, a fourth level, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, finally we'll go back up to the tenth level and the eleventh level. So we've just, we basically have just gone um, two levels further than you can go with Microsoft Word. Now notice that we're only displaying individual alphas or uh, Roman or Arabic numbers in front of each paragraph. What if we wanted to actually have a mixed numbered style? as we see here. Uh, that can be arranged in FrameMaker as well through a simple formula and you have control over whether you want these to be uppercase or lowercase. Something uh, more important though, that you, all, you will also see that gives you further control is that you also have the ability to have a, a paragraph a character style applied. Here you can see the character format numbered is applied in front of each one of these paragraphs. And if we wished to change this globally we would simply do this by going into the character catalog opening up the number style that we see here and um, let's decide that we want this to not be italic we want it to go back to um, we want it to go back to regular and instead of being red we would like to change it to blue and once we do a global update on this you can see that it instantly runs through and changes our document just that way finally sometimes uh, numbers include prefixes text in front of them Microsoft Word has a few prepackaged formulas for you for things like uh, tables and figures, but in FrameMaker you have complete control over how you'd like this to display. So as an example, make two quick simple changes. I've decided that I'd like the word table to appear in all caps, so I'm going to do that. And I might want to have a colon or a, uh, a dash follow it, whatever would work for me. As you can see, that changes automatically. And uh, in the final, very, very final change, let's change the word figure to illustration, like this. Okay, and once again, we will update it. So in a nutshell, you have tremendous control over numbering in FrameMaker, and each part of the number can be accessed through cross-referencing.